Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Troy Mythos Total War here today on the channel. We're back with episode 4 of my Memnon series. We're back on the Rhesus and Memnon DLC. Here today, we're going to continue to level up in Crete. Uh, we've also got a mission to actually leave Crete. We need to disembark in Etis for our victory conditions and we're still continuing along our Homeric victory conditions of uh, sacking and occupying uh, Achilles' capital and Agamemnon's uh, as well. So we've got a couple things to do here as well. Uh, so we've got the King of Fools <laughs> which uh, is meant to be well the King of Sparta I guess. So I think what we'll do uh, it, we'll stay in Crete as long as we can, just to level up, get some more experience, and try and get Memnon a little bit higher ranking. But look, if we get swarmed, if there's too many armies down here, because we are starting to be at war with a fair few factions, we might just need to abandon Crete. Like, we, we, we've taken half of the island, well, burnt it to the ground, so we don't have to stay here too long if we don't want to. Okay, so we do have the... Uh, mythic quests we can do as well. Um, I don't think we're strong enough just to, to, to do so. I feel like we haven't unlocked the higher tier units just yet. So, we'll see how we go. I may or might not do a mythic quest line in this series. We'll just have to see how we go. I want to focus on the Homeric victory conditions firstly. But, if we get into a sticky situation where it's like, okay, we need mythic units. And maybe we might very well need the Hellhound, Cerberus with us. We'll see. But so far, we're doing alright here. We're slowly but surely raising on through the island. Okay, welcome to the top of the turn. Just got that little bit of replenishment. And there is 12 units inside. But luckily, it's not a walled city, so we should be alright to push in with our units. We've got Poseidon and Artemis looking over us. So, it's going to be a close victory here, but no matter, as we are a horde faction, we can get units instantly from our territories back in Ethiopia and Egypt. Okay, so we're just continuing to still push on, push on through and level up. We've officially knocked out Nosos. And who's Westford here as well? Oh, Diomedes is over there. Really? Is that who they were fighting early on? Okay, so I've moved westward now. Um, I've made the decision to abandon Crete. Uh, Agamemnon's even pushed down here as well. So we'll continue our Homeric victory conditions. And we'll move over there to see what the Spartans say to us. So we're burning on through the map there. God, I love this animation. It just looks so good. Oh! Look who it is! I'll not Menelaus! King of the Fools! <laughs> Alright, so only one more turn off. Hopefully there's no party there to meet us. Oh, it looks like Menelaus actually shot back there. Okay. So, once we land, we are halfway through our epic quest line. So we've gone from Rhodes to Crete, now to... Coming into dock. Hellas and back again. So, we've landed in Aetis, which is just south of Sparta. Oh, speaking of Sparta, the Sword of Peace raised Sparta to the ground. Oh my god. But we get some really nice bonuses there. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to watch out for Menelaus. So, it looks like we're going to have the battle for Sparta in this series. Uh, Memnon is currently rank 17 now as well, which is fantastic. I think, hmm, Heroic Spirit or Armor of Hephaestus. I am tempted to go down to Hephaestus. And yeah, we'll just go all the way. Because I was actually doing hetacombs and, and praying to the Armor God, as it were, earlier on in the, the series. And we'll continue on our construction as well. Alright, welcome to the top of the turn. Looks like Mel uh, Menelaus has pushed further north. Resource-wise, we're currently on point. So, look at that. Look at the food, the wood and the gold. We got a lot of bonuses for doing that. Okay, so now that we've landed in diplomacy, we can use 
um, the diplomatic option to scout ahead. And it looks somewhat undefended, which is awesome. Okay, so we're currently getting wood, grain, stone. We're all getting decent passive income. And we can start going down to, uh, to unlock some of these regions. I want to go to in Kenan as well, get some of those heavies. Um, we might need to do some negotiations as well. I just to get a little bit more. Um, hmm. Stone, I think, because that's what we're kind of low on. Like, we got a bunch of stuff left over here. So, I bet that will do. We'll negotiate with Priam. So, we can unlock these regions, because they do actually cost a bit. New territory available. Perfect. So, it costs a bit of resource to unlock the region, but it only takes one turn. So, now, back... In the Pharaoh Servants, we can get some Kenan forces, some units from the Levant. Okay. So we can get some heavier Axemen as well. We might as well just merge up. And I can just spam one of these weaker Egyptian units. There we go. Now we can get some decent Axemen in our build. Perfect. We're definitely going to need them for Sparta. Okay, so I guess we keep an eye on Menelaus there. He seems to be just sort of sitting. Um, I was nearly tempted to strike Aetis. However, I think we might as well sort of risk it for the biscuit and go straight for Sparta itself. Because we don't have to actually fight Menelaus. We just have to take the city of Sparta. I could war deck, but they're going to draw in like five armies. Who are you at war with? We might do the cheesy thing and go around them if we can. So, I want to negotiate with you guys. I will declare war upon Sparta. Or I want to join your war against Sparta. How much will you give me for it? <laughs> um, what do they not in? Okay, so we might be able to get a bunch. I think we need wood a bit of, a bit of everything, to be honest. Because that's what they're not really interested in. So, I will attack Sparta. I'm already going to do it, so... It's always good to check if someone's already at war with them, because you can get around their alliances, and you also can get some money in the process, using someone else's Cassus Belly. So we'll push on in. Okay, so there is an army inside. Hmm. Which is... Disappointing. Um, the only problem is if... Aga... Um, uh, Menelaus actually attacks us. I look, you know what? We're gonna have to risk it because, yeah, we do have ladders, so it's not too bad. Like every single unit in Troy has a ladder, so now we can even send those giants to deal with the battering ra uh, the gates anyway. So we probably don't even need them. We can probably attack straight on because the last thing I want is to either get attacked by Agamemnon during the end turn phase, or if we uh, the thing is, even if we fight our way through, we could be quite weakened. It's going to be a close battle, this one. Anyway, here today, we have the Battle of Sparta. We're fighting in the ancient city. Okay, so it's got walls. Um, okay. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I don't think I've ever played the Siege of Sparta in Troy. Total War. Not that I can remember. Okay. So I guess they've built up. Which is interesting. I think that mostly happens in... Um, well... The Rome Remaster. Maybe even Rome 2 to some extent. But historically... For quite some time, Sparta did not have walls around the city, but it does seem ultra-defensible. Yeah. I was going to say, maybe it's a little bit unrealistic not to have it in Troy, but to be fair, I, I do remember quite often that the AI, <laughs> even though it may very well start off with that wall Sparta, in the Rome Remaster and in uh, Rome 2, they do tend to build it anyway. Well, that's okay. So, we'll burn 
and Ray spar to the, to the ground. And I think what we'll do is we'll get out of there. <laughs> Particularly if we lose a lot of men in this one, because it's going to be a close one. As we are doing an offensive siege, it always is. And particularly on the auto resolve as well. We might need to flee north or move westward just to try and get enough strength to attack Menelaus and Sparta. But we have declared war upon the Achaean world. And I'm sure the Denans are going to want to retaliate. We're sort of in the Agamemnon, Ajax, Diomedes sphere of influence. Maybe even Odysseus and Achilles to some extent. So we're going to have to watch out for them. We're currently surrounding the settlement from all angles. We're going to move our archers up here. We might be able to get some shots off. Okay, well, let's give out some attack orders. Giants, what I want you guys to do is to bring your heaviest clubs and start whacking at the wall. <laughs> Sorry, whacking at the gateway while everyone else goes at the wall. Okay, we'll get my harpies to try and... Annoy some of those skirmishes towards the back. We'll send in the Lesser Griffin as well. And we've also got a Hydra Priest as well. That's really going to help in this fight, healing our units. We might even be able to drop some poison spells as well, which is awesome. Okay, everyone's moving on up. We have the Battle of Sparta in this series. I didn't expect that. I actually didn't know where we were going to go in this series, which is a lot of fun. That's why I was asking earlier on in episode 1, where do you guys want to expand and conquer? Because, yeah, I kind of thought we'd be going into Asia Minor, like defending Troy. But no, we're, we're being the, um, very much the hammer <laughs> in this series. Or rather the... Coppish or whatever it's called. Whatever um, Memnon is wielding. <laughs> the, um, yeah, the Egyptian sword. I think that's what it's called. It was like derived from an axe originally. Anyway, the giants are moving their way up there. Probably can move my skirmishes up as well to help. Yeah, I'm curious to see how well the Giants do actually, for all intensive purposes, acting as a battering ram. It does seem like the AI wants to give up the walls on this west this uh, side. They seem to be falling back, maybe closer to their units, but they're clustering up here well, so I will drop a poison spell. I just need to hope that the Hydra can get in range to, de to deploy and cast it. But yeah, so, to follow the Homeric victory conditions, the campaign wants you to get and burn down roads in Crete and then eventually make your way to Sparta and Greece itself. But there we go. Now, poison... Oh my god, we've poisoned so many units there. Perfect. And we've hit a, a lot of them as well. <laughs> Excellent stuff. So it is worth destroying those smaller mythic armies to get those additional units. Unfortunately, we did lose those Shades of Elysium, but we've still got the Priest and Lesser Grif Griffin we have to watch and keep out for. The foe has captured your tower. Yeah, I guess you could go into Asia Minor if you really wanted to. Ally alongside... The Trojans defend the city, but hey, that is the entire purpose of Total War. Not every single campaign is the same. That's the beauty of the sandbox experience. Like honestly, that's why I really rate that about just all Total Wars. Like I, I swear, every single like, even if like five YouTubers did the exact same Let's Play on other stuff, it's going to be different. Like every single one's going to be different. Everyone's going to make different decisions and lose certain battles and win certain battles and move certain... Like, it's the same with the AI as well. Every single time you generate a game, even that sometimes changes. Tower. Particularly with mods. 
A lot of mods do have lucky factions as well. Alright, so the lesser griffin is getting attacked by some centaurs there. Aided by some swordsmen. A couple of my units are wavering now. We're doing alright at the moment. We're slowly but surely advancing and progressing through the settlement well. It's just whether or not we can hold off. My army build has slightly changed. As we do have some proper axemen here now. We've also got some... Egyptian spears. Um, we were fighting with Ethiopian clubmen before, but now as we're expanding and getting more resources to go into other territories, we're actually getting some better quality units. My skirmishes are still very much the same, but they have leveled up, if anything. Okay, my giants have actually made their way through the gates quite well. Huh. Maybe with giants now in our army build, we probably don't need siege equipment. Because we've already got ladders. Have been routed. We don't need battering rams instead. Well, there could be an argument actually for potentially order resolves in settlements where you just need that little bit extra support. The AI does calculate having siege equipment in. Right, we're going to Poison some horses here. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, they're completely routed as well. That's perfect. Those centaurs doing some hammer and anvil strikes in the small, the city narrow city streets of Sparta could be an issue. Particularly if they can get one of their melee units, one of their infantry units, to hold down one of mine and just smash on through. But we'll put them down. Like the, um, the Melbourne Cup. <laughs> I don't know. The enemy is trying to capture the Poor horsies. Alright, so what I'm going to do here, as our infantry advance, I'll chuck my skirmishes <laughs> on the walls. So they're going to be able to, like if we've got the walls here, we're going to be able to protect them up there. And they're going to be, uh, be able to arc their shots down. Okay. Memnon's now getting stuck into a hero unit. And he's deployed Oresteia as well. Okay, there we go. We can even capture that. Alright, so the army's doing well. Pushing where Memnon is. Like, this is where the main assault's coming from. Our skirmishes are there. The griffin's there. Along with the priest. You have lost the unit. So, if we can push and win this section, we might be able to move into the town square and start to initiate the countdown, or at least get the morale bonus for us. Those two other attacks had nowhere near the infantry, but they are essentially being a bit of a diversion because there's two units over there one of them routing but there's six bogging it down okay so we do have healing ability finally in my army so we'll get the hydra priest to continue to poison the enemy and heal the griffin because we're definitely going to need that in this one the more mythic creatures the better but Sparta did add some of their own. But uh, they've still got a couple centaurs in play. Come on, more for the glue factory. <laughs> or more to that we can send to the farm. Alright. So Memnon is now full on enraged. Still got a bunch of health about him. Okay, so we've got a 100 second cooldown now for our Hydra Priest, which is annoying. I would have liked the Griffin to be a little bit more healed up. But here are our brand new axemen from the lands of Canaan. And hopefully these axemen can push their way on through. Oh, perfect. My skirmishes are doing exactly what I wanted. Just getting that high ground elevation. We can even arc our shots up over the, enemy here over the houses, the hovels the here in Sparta. And hit some of those units that are hanging back by those trees. Some of my skirmishes are even out of ammunition. The balance of power has swung back to about a 70% in my favour. But there are there's still a lot of 
units left in this one. Victory. But there doesn't seem to be any generals for whatever reason. I can't see any enemy generals, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off. This is going to be a close one. We're not progressing progressing on those other positions. Oh, we actually capitulated pretty much. Yeah, we've got to focus everything on this push. Still a fair few of them in combat, but there are some wavering, of course. Let's speed things up as we push and wait for the others to come back and around. Alright, some of my skirmishes are out of ammunition, so they're probably going to have to come up as well. We'll give chase to these guys. Just slowly but surely make our way up. Whoa, what? Oh, I'm definitely going to end the battle there. Um, That was strange. I think that was a bug, maybe. They shouldn't have capitulated on there. Um... I'm kind of surprised about that. Hmm. We only really, there were so many of them. I guess maybe because of the generals and we were really close to the town square. Oh, strange. I'm definitely going to take that. <laughs> if they want to concede defeat like that, crikey. Hmm. I might have to tell someone that. Because they shouldn't capitulate that quick in Sparta. Particularly on very hard battle difficulty. Hmm. Might be an issue there. Please take into consideration as well that at the time of recording, this build I'm playing with is in early access and there are some things that are subject to change. Development is still very much in progress. But yeah, maybe I haven't read something. Maybe there's something I should be aware of there. Hmm. I'm just surprised they capitulated so, but maybe maybe there's a justification for it. Maybe it's the fact that um, we knocked out their generals then we were basically about to start the countdown. I don't know. But anyway, we've managed to win the Battle of Sparta, which is which we probably were going to win anyway. It just would have been a close one. We only had a couple more units left in there. Far out. Night has fallen on Sparta as it burns to the ground. Alright, so our next mission, war marches on. So we have to raise or sack any 10 Achaean settlements. So, we are quite weak at the moment. We s expent a lot in that attack of Sparta, and I'm sure the raging bull Menelaus will want some revenge. So, we're going to flee north and try and find some safety in the mountainous region of Sparta, and maybe in the forest as well. So we'll get some more units, and then we'll continue to raise and sack through southern Greece, and we'll try and get some more reinforcements there as well. Alright, it's time to wind things down. Thank you very much for watching episode 4 of my Troy Mythos Total War campaign as Memnon. So we will eventually have to go into Agamemnon territory. We're going to have to take his capital. Same with Achilles as well. But after the fantastic victory at Sparta, Memnon is now rank 18. And the horde is still continuing to go on. We're getting a, we've got a bunch of resources now as well. We've got 10k food. We could very well get attacked during this end turn phase. We'll just have to see how quick Menelaus is on his boots. But hopefully we're out of range. Okay, we've been attacked here. Okay. By a Denon tribe to the north and west. That's annoying. And we've managed to get some line of sight there. Thanks to our uh, camp followers. Okay, so I don't know if we're going to have much security or sanctity up here. Okay, so we're actually going to be pushing into enemy territory instantly. Okay, so we are very much in enemy lines, over enemy lines at the moment. Okay, so we might have, we might be able to push north. Nine there. Okay, we'll encamp here for now. We will need some additional reinforcements. So we're going to have to go around and get those ten or so regions sacked. So I guess we'll go around acting like <laughs> the Viet Cong, I guess. Trying to harass and raid and... Try and take out as, as many of the Denons as we can. Attack in the night. And then run back into the forest. 
Um, yeah, I think we should adopt those. Uh, what is it called? La Gorilla. <laughs> gorilla Tactics. Be like the Spanish and disappear into the mountains. Alright, we've got some more additional reinforcements here. So, if we do get attacked, we'll be able to play it if need be. But, we'll camp for the night under this centaur settlement in central Greece. Alright, unfortunately it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Gotta say a huge thank you to the Creative Assembly for making this video possible. So, yeah. Gotta play the outro now and say thank you to this one's patrons and ta channel members. Alright, boys, take care. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you'd like to stay connected with me. Let me know feedback and suggestions for the video. Gotta say a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tal, Liam B, Kyle P, Tom C, and Wyatt P. But thanks guys, my name has been Simsy, much love from Australia, goodbye.